Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This one is my first video after the demonstration. If you don't even seen that demonstration video, just go to the description and check out. In this video, I'm going to create some part of this project, student result management system. Here you can see that the first part is the index. We having an index here and which having two buttons, student and admin. When we click on the admin, it moves to the next page. That one is admin login. Uh, in this video, I'm going to create this page and the index page. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm going to create this. Now, file, new project, Java application, click on next. Here we are writing a student, student management, student result management. We are naming the project name. Now we are creating a new J form. We are renaming as index. Now we are we have to put a GIF here. So click on right click on label, go to the properties, go to the icon. Okay, here click on this there and just select that GIF here. Now click on OK. Okay. Here. here you can see that our image are displaying on our screen now it is size according to your need okay just follow now now we need two buttons here the first one is uh, first we let me put button here now here we have to write a student Student. Here we have to write admin. Admin. Okay. Now, now we have to when we click on admin button, it moves to the login page. So we have to create new J frame here. So we are writing admin index here, renaming as admin index. Okay. Now again we are here, we, let's go to the right click on admin, go to the event action, action performed, here we have to write, to write sorry, set visible false and new admin index dot set visible okay true okay for the button one we are also writing similar code Okay, here yeah, we have we are going to write it, but here yeah, we are change admin to the student, and we also have to create a J frame of same name. Okay, student index student index. Okay. okay now now we have to design login page for admin here we have to put a icon let us set as 700 and 400 here now we have to put a image for next here now properties icon user okay flow remove that level here from here decrease this size ok 
okay now we need two levels two more levels for username and password and we also need two text fields here okay text field one more and a button to submit and we also need a button to go to the back at index page Follow me. Yeah. Now delete username. Here yeah. password. Password. And delete this text. Delete this one. And delete as log in and we there's also a button back here when we click on this back button then it goes to the first page this one page okay now we have to now we have to put border and color so for that we have to first change layout absolute layout and after that we are placing a panel here okay on our here right click on this go to the properties yeah here. here we are selecting colors Okay, we also have border titled border here we are writing border like we are writing welcome admin okay we are uh, red okay now we are also having border this one line border here we are increasing the thickness we are setting as 6 and also color like we write for the red color 255 okay now click on ok ok close sorry increase welcome admin should be more big so that here we are changing the design bold italic it's 24 okay now now it looks great Now, now we have to uh, code on login. When it click on login, then it matches username and password. So let's write the code for this. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just take text field. It should be this should be password field. Okay. So that it could be hidden. Delete this. Remove it. Now we are going to write the codes. Event, event, action, action, form. Here, string, string, user name, j text, one dot get text string password j j password dot get text uh, now if username 
dot equals equals the admin okay admin and password dot equals pass okay then it otherwise else it shows some error that one is j let's see dot show message Yeah, and we are writing showing the message at username, name and password. Password is correct. Okay. Now here we are also creating a JFrame that when user is successfully up log in, then new page will be admin home home okay now here just again move to the same page here we are setting set visible false it means this one page page going to be height new admin home dot set visibles show okay now it's time to run the this part of project okay now now when we click to the admin it moves to the next page here you can see that here we are writing uh, admin and password is pass here login then you can see that we move to the next page okay this is all about the first part of my project in next video i'm going to explain you more uh, more about my project i hope you guys like my video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you